let's get started with a new project. Make sure you install the latest version of Visual Scripting. The latest version right now is 1.7.8. Next, search and download Visual Scripting Plus from Unity Asset Store. It's only $5 now. Click Add to My Asset or Open in Unity. Click Import. Next, let's create a background filled with stain. You can download this kit folder with link under this video. By foot, choose left. Uncheck Generate Pieces step. In Sprite Editor, you can recrop the, the image. Click Apply when you've done. Now, drop this stand into the game. Draw more set tiled to repeat this image when scaling. Move it to center. You can set the size of game screen. Let's create a tank for player. To create an animation sprite, select all and drop them into our game. Name it Walk. Change its animator is Tank Animator. Sometimes you cannot see your object because it is currently behind background. To bring it in front, add new starting layer. Then put object tank to new layer layer. I will scale the size of this tank to 0 0.6. You can put shadow to your object to make it look better. Add the shadow to layer players. Add minus 10 to bring it behind layer. Scale it and reposition it to fit our stand. You can set its opacity. Let's play and you can see how it looks like. The animation work. Next, let's use Visual Sweeping Plus to add tanks movement. Add macro controller into our game. Create an empty object macro to rub all of macro. Before you use this macro, let's add a script to contain visual scripting events. Click new, create folder, events, name it player, then save. We should always add a timer to wait for object is loaded. When object is loaded, let's do trigger custom event, game ready. Trigger custom event will call and do custom event with same name. To use macro controller, step 1, copy macro controller into our player. Step 2, open use controller to get event one to use. We will use controller movement event to move a layer. Step 3, paste it in player. Edit variables, all done. This is inside tank body. 
we will use this for this tank enable rotation the right is angle 0 degree if model is heading to the right origin angle head is 0 this tank is at angle 90 degree type in 90 on origin angle head it always need a component rigid body to move an object. Let's add rigid body to the to tank. In this game, we don't use gravity. Set it to zero. Turn on breeze rotation. You can move it now, super fast and easy. This tank cannot stop because the gravity value is zero. Let's add linear track value to 10. This value is the acceleration of movement. Bigger value to start with right away. It works perfect now. You should try with different values of linear track to see how it works. You will use this value a lot in all your games. Next, let's add motion hero to tank. To create an animation from a single image, right mouse, create animation, name it hero. Drop motion hero to animator and set it as default animation when you press play its deformation will be idle to change its animation to work open use controller we can use this event to change its animation to work when buttons are pressed paste it here Edit variables. You can type minus one to turn off any animation you don't use. Make sure motion idle and work exactly same names in tank animator. Press play to see our final show. Please like and subscribe my channel to get more tutorials. Comment below what tutorial you want in next video. Thank you for watching.